The more you know how to use Evernote, the better it will work for you. So stay tuned for five tips on how to use Evernote effectively. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Boss Tip Thursday. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. On this channel, I share videos all about productivity, mindset, and business. So make sure to subscribe for those weekly videos. So in my Mom Boss Monday episode, how to work smarter, not harder, one of the advice that I gave was to know your tools well. And since I rave a lot about Evernote on this channel, I thought it'd be a good idea to give you some tips on how to use this tool effectively. Initially, it is a good idea to just start with Evernote with the basics, just jotting down your notes. But eventually when you feel comfortable, you should start thinking about using its other functions. It's a complex app there are so many things to do with it start with the basics and just build your way up it will really help you stay organized so let's get into the five tips but before i just want to let you know that any links that i mention any extensions any resources they will be linked in the description okay so the first tip that i have for you is to use evernote templates a template is just like a regular note that you can copy and paste and use it over and over again. And to get started, I have three ideas for you. So the first thing you can do is start from scratch. I use them all the time. Like for my YouTube videos, my descriptions are always very similar. So I have a template here. This is called description. I go here. And here is this template. So anytime that I publish a video, all I have to do is come in here and change out a few things. I have to change out this main description. I have to change out the, the share this video link and the episode number. So if it's Mom Boss Monday, I just change out this number and delete this other Boss Tip Thursday. And sometimes I'll have to change out the credits for these songs. Other than that, everything stays kind of the same. And down here, I have my videos divided into different categories so that I can share more of my videos in the description where it says more videos like this. I delete this and input another little um, category into that spot. Another way is let's see maybe with my amazon ads i run ads um every now and then and i like to keep this checklist here that's going to walk me through it step by step so that i don't forget what the requirements and how to actually get it done the next idea is to use the ready-made evernote templates evernote shares templates that you can use so here i'll go to templates and i'll show you everything they have to offer they have templates for planning templates for schools for writing projects for real estate finances marketing all these kinds of things that you can just download into your evernote so let's try to download one i will go ahead and try this creative writing project preview and save and here is the template, the three act story plotting, something that wouldn't apply to me, but if it's something that you'd like or check out some of the other ones that they have. And it will be saved to your Evernote after you click this button and you can choose the notebook you want it in. The other tip I have for you is to visit Simplify Days. Go to products and here she offers a lot of products but she also offers digital Evernote templates which are free and here she has monthly digital maintenance guide she has a lot for home and work and self-growth and a lot of things so here's one for Christmas party which would have been nice to have a gather sort and purge template so this is what it looks like after you download it this is called the purpose driven social media template so i download it and this is what it looks like and again you just click save to evernote and you click the notebook that you want it in and that's it 
So that's the essence of templates. Tip number two is to use the Evernote Web Clipper. I use this on my phone more often than I do my PC, but I've enabled it to show you how it works. If I scoot this up, you can see it's enabled right here my Evernote web clipper and it works very simply. First you have to install it and to install it you go to Evernote slash product slash web clipper and you just click this get web clipper for Chrome. Once you install it you'll get this extension here and as you're surfing through the web anything that you want to save you can. So say that I wanted to save this article all I have to do is go here Click this extension and then it will give you some options. You can save the whole article, save a simplified version, you can just bookmark it, you can save a screenshot and then you get to choose your notebook that you want to add it to. And you also get to choose if you want to add a tag or a comment. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to be filed. That's where I dump everything most of the time and then just fix it later. Okay, so I'll click save. Then if I go back into my Evernote and I go to my to be filed notebook. So here it is, YouTube channel art. And then you can just save it and reorganize things how you like, add comments, highlight it. And it's so easy to use and it's very helpful to stay organized with all your articles and research for your projects, your writing projects especially. Next tip that I have is to create stacks of notebooks. Stacks of notebooks are really helpful because as you use Evernote more and more, you'll start to get all these notebooks and they'll start to get lost, sort of. So it's just another way to do some even deeper organization. So I'll show you some examples. Like for this YouTube, this is a stack. You can tell by this arrow. When I click it, you'll see the other notebooks. And then within these notebooks, there's notes. So I wanna keep these notebooks separate because I want the notes inside to stay organized, but I want it in the same category, so to speak. So for YouTube, I have this YouTube, which is the main notebook. And here I have the description, um, a template that walks me through the steps and all these other things. And then in the music one, which I just created not that long ago, I have this music and I want to divide them different types of music, different genres, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I want them to sit, stay organized this way, the music separate from the overall like marketing and description metadata stuff. I also use it for this business stack here. I have my blog, my email here, and I keep them together because most of the time I use them together, it's easier for me to just keep them in a stack. Let's say that I wanted to add this Amazon ads to my business stack. All I have to do is click and drag it here and then it'll be added there. But let's say I was starting from scratch. If I wanted to drag this books to read and this books together, then you'll have to name your stack. So I'll just name this learning create stack there we go so now learning we have books and books to read together so you could have articles and then have those articles separated into different notes i hope i'm making a lot of sense but yes it's just to keep your stuff even more organized the fourth tip is to use search and use tags this is also helpful when you're just starting it's kind of difficult in the beginning to know how to organize all your notebooks and this may keep you from even getting started or even using it but in the beginning don't worry too much about how everything's gonna be organized make your notebooks as you see fit as you go along and then you can just use this search bar to find them later and you can also tag them so let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Search bar is very self-explanatory. This is the search bar for notebooks. If I want to find my social media notebook, just type in social and it'll pop up. Click this search button and you can search for notes. So if I wanted to search for the description, it will find all the notes that have that in it. My Kindle checklist has the word description in it because I have to write a description for my books. Here's this description for the YouTube videos and anything else that has the word description in it, it will bring it up here. So you can use the search bar. Don't worry too much about how everything's gonna be organized initially because you can always use this. If I have this note open, 
and I want to tag it, all I have to do is go here to this tag and I can input YouTube. Okay, and then now when I click this tag button here, I can go down to YouTube and there will be all my notes that are tagged YouTube, which is just this one for now. So make use of these search and tag options to keep your notebooks and stuff further organized. Tip number five is to maintain your Evernote. Just like when you cook something in your kitchen, you'll feel more like it if it's clean. You'll feel more like working if your desk is clean. And if your Evernote is organized and nice and tidy, you'll be more apt to actually using it throughout the week, to actually storing notes and files and keeping your life organized. This is crucial. Take time on Fridays or Sundays or whenever to go into Evernote and delete notebooks you don't need, reorganize it, switch things around so that it can work for you. The more you do this, the more efficiently you'll use it and the more you'll see your life start to get organized. All right, so those were the five tips. I really hope that I've inspired you to use Evernote more often if you haven't yet or to use it to its full potential. It takes it takes time to set everything up, to set up the notebooks, to get it organized, but there's a quote that says that easy things become hard and hard things become easy. And this is definitely true with Evernote. It's easier in the beginning to just have a bunch of notepads, a bunch of sticky notes and paper everywhere. It's easier because that's what you're used to. You're not really used to using this digital device to keep all your things, but it will get easier in the long run. If you take the time to learn it, to use it effectively, it will get easier and you'll be less stressed out. You'll always find everything when you need it. So take the time to learn it if you haven't yet. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, Make sure you hit the thumbs up and share it with someone who may need it. Let's continue to chat in the comments down below. Leave me a comment. I'd love to know if you use Evernote or if you plan to use Evernote now. Let me know. Let's talk about it. Thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you on Monday for Mom Boss Monday.